You founded the Sarvode movement. What does Sarvode mean? Sarvode means the awakening of all. This is a word coined by Mahatma Gandhi. And Who was a Hindu? Mahatma Gandhi was a Hindu. I'm a Buddhist. But this word is same in our language because both languages have Sanskrit roots. And this word was coined from two Sanskrit words, one sarvam, which means all. Udayam, so, awakening. The awakening of all. Right. I have to begin with myself. My personality awakening should be foremost for me. Then the awakening of my family, then my community, urban or rural, mm -hmm. then my nation, the country, and my world. Of course, the individual awakening is very important, but the individual cannot awaken unless your environment is conducive to such awakening. You started as a science teacher. Right. How I did you go from that to several day? When I started life as a teacher, I was wondering what we were doing in the classroom, teaching these children physics, chemistry, botany, zoology, mathematics, languages, everything except for them to become human beings. Everything except? That. To be human, to be of service to others. So I was wondering, while we teach the subject, we don't help the child to awaken his personality, his or her personality. So I thought we must take education outside the classroom, textbooks, examinations, while not without disturbing that part of it. So, But to take it into life. Right. So we took young students, teenagers, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, that was the age group I taught, and they were not very far away from my own age. I was also in my 20s and went into the most backward villages in Sri Lanka, villages which were socially and economically backward, and lived with the people, worked with the people, constructed toilets, houses, roads, you know, school buildings, community centers, irrigation canals, and all that, by just gifting labor. And then when... By giving your labor? Labor, your time, thought, and effort. We call it shramadana, sharing of labor. And then people started asking questions. Why, why is the, what is the meaning of this? What is the philosophy behind this? So we uh, had to tell them, we are learning four principles to awaken our own personality. One, to respect all life. Second, to translate that loving kindness into compassionate action. So what we call development and social welfare is compassionate action. Then we learn to get the joy of living at that very moment. And when we do to, this... To yeah. have joy in living. Joy in living. At that very moment. Yes. In the midst of the poverty. That's right. Any more, even now, every moment we should be happy. For us to be happy, we should feel that we are of service to other people. And when you do that kind of work, some people ridicule, some insult, some do... I was interdicted from my job for doing this at that time. I've heard that you had a contract out on your life. You in 1962. So Can you tell me what happened? Well, an underground uh, man, a gangster, was asked to kill me because I didn't know that I was working against certain interests. I was Ill innocently trying to be of service to the students and our communities who were in need. And some people's uh, financial or other interests were threatened. So they gave a contract killer some money. I heard about it. I went to him. You went to? I went to him. I found where he was and went to his... The person who was, had yeah. a contract to kill you? Yeah. And I told him, uh, this is what I'm doing. If you want to kill me, do it now, not in my school or with my students, because uh, those places will have a bad name after that, because my school, Nalanda College, was established by one of the greatest... Wait. You offered yourself to be killed? Yes. Why? Be because I didn't want other people's blood to be shed. Because they were trying to do it at school by throwing bombs and things like that. So at that time, even now I had that courage to make others live. If necessary, you sacrifice. Not, I mean, you are not foolish as to throw away your life like that. But in an intelligent way, 
if you're curious where the motivation would come to care so much that you would give up your own life it is a spiritual motivation and when you understand that when you practice it you get a lot of courage and even in death you see life so uh, he was so good not only he said oh what a crime i would have done and one lesson he taught me he said against our conscience sir, we don't kill i was told that you were a very bad person misleading students because we didn't have teachers like you we became criminals and that man came from that day of course one of his colleagues so killed him he it, changed instead of killing you that's right that's right i had number of experiences like that so this one of also people who wrote biographies and other things they highlighted this but uh, this is a risk you have to take when you decide to work on an idea for me it is nothing <laughs> i don't think it's nothing <laughs> i mean our life is really all we have to give yes only in giving you receive 